I have a dream that one day. Following Martin Luther King's assassination in 1968, several riots broke out across the country, representative of a societal surge in anger, disenfranchisement, and militancy. These riots are now collectively referred to as the Holy Week Uprising and showcase the anger that many African Americans felt after the death of the revered civil rights leader. However, King's assassination also sparked a national outpouring of support. President Johnson called for a National Day of Mourning on April 7th to commemorate King. Numerous public libraries, museums, schools, and businesses closed the day following his assassination, and over 100,000 mourners followed King's coffin as it was led through the streets of Atlanta. The National Center for Civil and Human Rights exhibit on King's assassination creates a multi-sensory experience that allows visitors to undergo an emotional transition similar to the experience of those who lived through the event. This emotional engagement helps visitors develop a better grasp on the significance of losing such a prominent figure. The exhibit itself is comprised of two floors, each representing responses following King's assassination. Visitors enter through the bottom floor, which focuses on the chaotic response to Martin Luther King Jr.'s death. They are immediately inundated with information consisting of loud rock music, flaring screams, dark lighting, and looping videos all of which contribute to the overall frenetic environment of the room. This feeling of sensory overload is similar to the atmosphere immediately following MLK's assassination, emotionally charged and lacking organization or clarity. After overcoming the initial disorientation, visitors realize that they are witnessing a retelling of MLK's assassination. They can focus on specific details like the carpeting, which features a map of the country with small flames representing cities where the King assassination riots broke out. The map provides a visual representation of the spread of chaos and violence throughout the nation. This tactic of sensory overload creates an environment where visitors can feel lost in the raw emotion following the assassination of MLK. It helps visitors understand how the violent atmosphere was amplified by existing polarization between black and white communities giving them insight into the havoc surrounding King's death. In contrast to the lower floor, the top floor engages visitor senses in an organized fashion, making information understandable and cohesive. This is representative of the change to accept King's death and honor both him and his legacy. As visitors climb a staircase to make their way to the top floor of the exhibit, the sounds of the chaotic lower floor fade away and are replaced with King's booming voice. Upon arriving at the top floor, they see large infographics depicting the public response to the funeral. In addition, pews are laid out in front of a screen playing a video of King's funeral with an audio recording as he delivers his own eulogy. The difference in atmosphere is immediately apparent and frames the information that the top floor presents as King's legacy. This helps visitors understand how the civil rights movement overcame the anger seen on the bottom floor to accept his death. Together, the top and bottom floor offer an experience that had previously been shelved away within those who had lived through the anger and tragedy of King's assassination. Photographs and documents failed to do the event justice, as one cannot feel the chaos of a riot nor the calm with acceptance of his death through solely seeing and reading. The two distinct floors offer a dynamic that is unique to the rest of the museum, and that one exhibit can evoke both feelings of peace and distress as opposed to other exhibits emphasizing either triumphs or losses throughout the civil rights movement. Visitors are immersed in an environment uncharacteristic of a traditional museum, but this disparity allows them to gain a significantly greater understanding of Martin Luther King's assassination.